When dumb TikTokers mess with Mexican cartels, oh my god. The the social media morons oh publicly oh, insulted Mexican cartel. I thought it was talking about like one, bro. With El Parada setting the scene for why this is a dumb idea. Oh. Born April 2000 in the state oh. of Sinaloa, the pirate and was you from one of Mexico's there. most dangerous states. Both his mother and father left him at birth, leading to a bro. difficult life full of alcohol addiction. Although cartel, ironically, bro. this made him a social media superstar. El Parada had his friend film him him drinking from a bottle, ah. pairing it with the aftermath of when it all kicked in. He'd uploaded ah. to his YouTube under El Della Red Label, but didn't expect a viewership of over 300,000. Well, crazy. when he realized that his excesses were pleasing to the internet, he knew what his shortcut to popularity was, yeah. turning yes, his drunkenness into a profession. Time He'd start posting it. video after video of his drinking escapades, always pouring ah. the beverage about an inch above his mouth in the exact same way as his first viral video. This in combination with his small strange appearance made El Parata so <laughs> That's extremely crazy, memorable. Sonny. That's crazy. Why you doing like this, bro? You made him look shorter. He hunched over in the picture. People began to dedicate public statues to oh, him. he therefore what? expand his social media to include cars oh, yeah. and women, oh. which grew his oh. Facebook following to over a million and his Instagram to 300,000. Suddenly he was Logic being paid over a thousand dollars just to show up at a club for a night, although this would always come with one specific problem. Every time El Parada drank, he'd become extremely vocal and borderline aggressive to the extent that he was arrested on more than damn, one occasion. Damn, of course. In a 7.6 million view video ah. translating to the pirate response to comments, he spends over three minutes simply yelling at his audience, giving the impression that he thought himself invincible. This would be curbed ah, to some extent yes. when he'd hire a social media manager named Beto Sierra, who encouraged El Parada to give up the drinking to increase the longevity of his life and career. Spanish okay, YouTuber sure. Pepe Garza also confronted El Parada about his drinking, questioning haven't you started to think that if you drink a lot of alcohol, at one point it can poison you. The what? human body isn't made for that, to which El Parada responded immaturely, people always tell me, my friend, how can you handle so much? I just laugh and tell them, well, I don't know. I don't know how I handle so much, to which Pepe again responds, well, I don't like it very much. This is going to get out of control. When he's then asked, where do you see yourself in three years time? El Parada admits that he wants to get sober and instead would like to have a career in music and leave behind this stage characterized by his drunkenness. I want to learn to sing now. That will be my motto. I want to be on stage, but singing and putting on a show. Taking uh, he had so much, like, how do we get to the cartel? Being drunk, bro. I guarantee you, bro. Because, like, you can be drunk all the time, but there comes a point where drunk is going to catch up to you and you just start saying shit, bro. bro. Doing sh Hence, in case in point, he started getting arrested, just doing shit. You go into the club, you already thinking, I'm getting paid to be here. And I get to drink and do all this for free and the women on my arm. And then you get it's drunk and it, ampli yeah, yeah. it amplifies, bro. Taking steps to make this happen, he'd appear in music videos, which only further added to his image as a drinker, yeah. especially with a band member stating, there are a lot of people who criticize him, but the truth is that's why El Parada got started, I mean, but true, it would also become the way that El Parada ended. After yet another- He did? The heavy drinking session, well, El Parada cartel. was filmed insulting Mexican cartels, specifically with the phrase El Mencho suck my wiener. Oh. El Mencho is the head of the CJMG, oh, aka Mexico's damage. second most powerful cartel. Oh. His capture offers a bounty of $10 million as he's considered one of Mexico's most dangerous people. Therefore, El Parada's call out was not a smart thing to say about a man who will execute your whole family based on not much more than a rumor. Yeah. He bro, see, y'all gotta stop fucking with the gotta people. Stop, bro. It's actually. It's only slightly different if you didn't live in Mexico. You live, he lived there. You gotta stop. You live people, there. Bro. Them people gonna do you in. We didn't see the guy uh, of TikTok who thought he was hot shit. He apologized. He don't even live there, bro. Cause they were bro. Cause they found him in New York. Yeah, they, they bro. <laughs> they he just, was he was talking bro. shit about the cartel 
and supposedly they found him in New York. And when he when it came to him that they found him, he made the apology video. Bro, no, bro, stop Jeez. messing. With, stop, bro, has- stop messing with these cold blooded killers, bro zero regard for human life. But what about free speech? It doesn't exist to the cartels, which have been linked to the murder of at least 12 journalists this past year. By any means, El Parada seemed to think you. very little of his call out yeah, as on the 18th it. of December 2017, he went about his day as if it were any other. As the evening drew closer, El Parada met with hot Spanish vlogs and Ben El Gringo, preparing for what was supposed to be another fun night on the town. In fact, El Parada was having such a good time, he'd post the location of where no! he was headed, telling his fans to meet no! him at the bar. However, instead, he'd be met by four men driving no! in a black truck who assassinated El Parada only a minute after getting to the bar. The attack was clearly specifically targeted because he just showed that nigga get iced. He just showed that nigga get well, iced. Well, we don't, we don't know what, well, I, well, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 hmm. Do you think he know? Huh? I don't think he knows it's not blurred. But did you, I didn't see him in the frame. I couldn't tell who was what and whatever. All right. But the fact that y'all got to know, y'all probably seen it on the news, buddy. They are willing to do it no matter how many people are around. They don't care. No matter what time of the day. They don't care. No matter where you are, who you are, what connection, it don't matter. Stop messing with them. Bro, they don't care, bro. Because as explained by Hot Spanish Vlogs, it's clear they didn't want to hurt me, my friend, or any of the girls, because if they wanted to, they could have done so easily. His funeral was held in the days that followed, with El Parada's social media manager writing, We talk so many times about quitting alcohol and living life too fast, but you never listened. And I don't judge, only you knew what you were doing. Those who knew you knew you were a good person. God have you in his glory. Those responsible for his death have never been apprehended, but the CJNG only seems more obvious after exploring the fate of TikToker El Chinito. El Parada and El Chinito lived in the same city, both having become famous for their goofy vertical videos. El Chinito therefore felt hurt by El Parada's death, and just oh, 17 no days no after, no would way. call out the no cartel way. as well. No way! No the way! Th There's no way! You saw what happened to him, and I'm pretty sure you've seen other stuff. How can you live? In the same cities with these people, with the with the people, see what they do, and still be willing to antagonize them. Bro, I, I don't understand. Bro, I don't understand. Y'all know these niggas monsters, bro. These niggas are cold blooded killers. They Eric. don't care. Bro, you're if you just want to attack them, bro. I'm gonna be so real with you, bro. The Mexican <laughs> cartel is why I will never go anywhere in Mexico. I will literally never go anywhere in Mexico because of the Mexican cartel. Never. I don't even care if it's a fucking vacation spot. Because I didn't heard stories of them niggas being on the vacation spot. They don't care if you on vacation or Bro, you in I'm, the city. I'm not going. Oh, and you you antagonize somebody I like on you antagonizing killers. They killed him. What made you think you say? Oh, they took they took him out because he did this. So I'm mad that they took him out. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm never going, bro. Even though I don't have no type of protection, bro. They blowing. <sighs> 31 second video El Chinito states, I don't give a crap about El Mencho, then oh. proceeds to call him stupid and oh threatens to drive to his city to find him. Oh In God. case this wasn't dumb enough, El Chinito then announces what where he it? lives, oh! but it would only be after the call out went viral that El Chinito realized he'd made a huge what mistake. Up, the following morning with a blistering hangover, El Chinito apologized. Excuse me, El Mencho, I was very drunk and wasn't in my senses. 
I am sorry. My respect to the old man subsequently disappearing to keep a low profile. Rumors began to circulate that El Chinito had been executed by hired assassins, but this would be disproven by Margarito okay. Music. He'd find El Chinito in his hometown, who instead of dying had rather gotten married and also had a baby on the way. He now uses his TikTok to document his life, clearly surviving his cartel call out. I think the apology video saved this guy's life. Illuminati 6, however, wasn't quite so lucky. He gained a following by doing dares on TikTok Live, one of which being, I dare you to challenge El Mencho. Well, Illuminati 6 had zero hesitation. Listen here, you son of a bitch. El Mencho, you can suck my wiener 100%. I don't sleep like El Parada or El Chinito. I'm immortal, untouchable. I made a pact with the devil. I came to give you fire, Mencho. I'm not scared to say this, I'll say it without the camera. Mencho can suck my balls. The comments rolled in instantly. This man is already dead, just because they haven't warned him. This little boy has his days numbered. Not even the devil is going to save him. Illuminati 6 oh quickly God. realized his mistake and uploaded a second video begging for forgiveness. I'm sorry for what I said. I was not well. Bro, bro, yeah, yeah. bro. I ain't never dealing. Bro, stop dealing with killers, nigga. I'll never forget, bro. It was a dude who wanted to race the Durango, right? And I'm talking to him. He's a Hispanic guy. I'm talking to him. I'm like, man, what you do? I was like, I make money, man. And I'm, I'm, I'm with good people. And I kept talking to him. I was like, yeah, man, come out. You in the Durango, race, race my track car. He's like, I got some other cars you can race. You know, come, come, come to our house, da da da. To this day, I've never hit that nigga up. Because the nigga just didn't feel right. If you can't do that with just regular people, what makes stop you think? doing this with killers. Certified killers. What makes you think just because you apologize, they won't be like, nah, buddy. We can't let the disrespect stand. You was trying me, bro. Like, at some point, they're not going to just take every yeah. apology just because people was like, you better apologize. You because better they got to think about the It's disrespectful. Yeah. I'm letting y'all constantly was, bro. Me. Like, the Yakuza, I feel like, the Yakuza in Japan, bro, I feel like if you being respectable in Japan just doing your thing, you cool. I don't think that applies to the cartel. I think like, they cold-blooded. Like, bro, like, y'all antagonizing them? And they will go find you just because you thought they wouldn't. They probably don't even care about the message. Like, like they probably look at you like, he can't do nothing to us anyway. But just because you think we won't, I'm going to go do it. Yeah, That's probably what... Bruh. Come on, bro. Yeah, I'm not Come doing on, it, bro. Well, I was wrong. That day I woke up stupid. I didn't look at the consequences. I did that for followers. I apologize. We all make mistakes. Mencho, don't kill me. I have a family just like you. Yeah, but this only bro. added more exposure to his original cartel call out. People began to joke, play the video of how they kill him. It would be great to see. But I don't think anybody expected that this would actually happen. It has oh. since been theorized that the person in the video is someone else completely, but there's absolutely no confusion in the case of Fofo Marquez. Okay. He's oh, so best described as the Mexican Dan Bulzerian, although without so oh, many women. His TikTok oh, is dedicated to bragging oh, about man. money, showing his private jets and driving luxury cars. But bro, Fofo also the hides part, the bro. fact that he's from a mega wealthy family. In case being a Nepo Jesus baby part. isn't already unlikable enough, he refers to himself as millionaire Millionaire boy making what would happen next all the more satisfying. Okay, rich folks and Nepo babies and all that. Do you not understand that you could just be just be rich? The, be, you could just be the normal rich guy, and people will like you know, like, like you can show like you can show you going on a private jet and all of this different rich stuff where you're intentionally showing it off, but as a normal like, like oh this is this, this is cool, cool. I thought that my like dad to see yeah i thought y'all would like to see i understand that i'm privileged but i thought y'all would like to see it and we would still be like we would instead of looking at you like bro you faking it we would look at you like that's dope as shit like that's i wish i would still wish that my dad was rich but i'd be like that's Damn, cool that's, that's cool. cool you got that that's cool you got that bro 
That's I can't wait to the next video where you show me the the, like the transforming else. car. Like the dude, <laughs> there's a dude. Uh, he stay in Houston. Um, family's multi millionaires, and the son like, oh, I got this new car. Da da da. I'd be like, oh, this is cool. Yeah. I only stopped watching the videos because he, he I, one video I saw he seemed like a jackass. I'm yeah. like, yeah, I'm not watching it no more. Yeah, come on, but bro. Don't let the ego go to your head, bro. What are yeah. you doing? Fine. Fofo planned on doing a prank that would anger his whole city. Drive three luxury cars onto a main bridge before parking in the middle of the road oh to block God. all lanes of traffic. Oh, As why? he and his friends get out of the cars, Fofo proceeds to state, we have closed it for ourselves. This is what I want to demonstrate, what money and power can do. We've been here for several minutes. Let's do some TikTok dances. Look, 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 this right here is power. I am the king of Mexico. Not, Fofo put it on his TikTok people. expecting a positive response and while it gained 10 million views in under 24 hours its virality was due to all the wrong reasons thank you fofo you are an example for me it is an inspiration to study and never be like you but his terrible prank reached further than social media oh mayor pablo lemus threatened to bring charges against him for blocking traffic and go. endangering drivers on the road after the rebuke marquez went back to social media to publicly apologize it stayed in his apology, my comments about money and power were perhaps stupid and I'll happily pay whatever fine I'm given. But the mayor responded to the apology by saying Marquez would have to complete community service cleaning up below the very bridge he shut down, which yeah. Fofo Marquez yeah. was more than happy to do until the CJNG got involved. Oh, 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 the cartel oh, oh. unexpectedly issued oh. a public statement. Oh. As oh. Nigga, they got a Reddit? They got a Reddit? Oh, these niggas oh. terrifying. Whoa. Oh, these niggas are scary. Oh, these niggas are terrifying. I am scared Whoa. of these niggas. Whoa. To publicly announce that shit, bro. Oh, these Whoa. niggas killer killers. Whoa. Any know or are just learning about the influencer or scum named Rodolfo Marquez, oh, who dared to close traffic, is an bro. act we do not tolerate. We're the ones in charge of Jalisco and all of Mexico. And to you, Fofo, we tell you to be careful because we will not let you come thinking you can do whatever you want. Here in Jalisco, Mr. Mencho is in charge. If we see you again, we'll kidnap you, and not even the money you have will help you. Sincerely, CJNG. Six Whoa. days later, YouTuber Dom and Guero met up with Fofo, who was hiding out in his parents' mansion and being protected by 30 security guards. Throughout the interview, Fofo states, rich people are the most intelligent people, only no, making not. him even more no, hated. No, rich people not. are the smartest people, no, said by not. a kid who inherited no, more than half oh, of what bro. he has. Despite Fofo's extreme arrogance, the CJNG never wound dude. up hurting him. However, just six months ago, he brutally beat a woman during a traffic conflict in the parking lot of a shopping center. As a result, he's currently in prison, but that's still a better outcome than what happened to Pamela Montenegro. She played a character on YouTube named Nana Palukas, initially posting innocent videos where, for example, she'd interview random shoppers. However, her content slowly made a political shift, interviewing government officials about the problems created by Mexico's cartels. Well, Pamela also owned a restaurant named a Todos Los Santos, around which the cartel began hanging banners, accusing Pamela of colluding with the government. Incredibly, even after this, she continued making oh. her videos and working at the restaurant, oh. although, as you might expect, it didn't oh. end well. During one of her shifts in the evening, oh. two men walked in and each ordered a beer before shooting Pamela point blank and fleeing the scene immediately. When security officers arrived at the scene after 7 p.m., the 36 year old woman had already died. A member of the Acapulco cartel was tried for her murder, but was dismissed on the grounds of insufficient evidence, ironically acting as an example of the political corruption she often discussed. Bro, that shit terrifying. That's Them niggas crazy. got pulled. Stop beefing with these niggas, bro. You think these niggas got that, real... Bro, bro, I will never... They, never. they doing this to regular journalists hired by companies they do they probably doing this to politicians they doing this to influencers and you think you just gonna come and be the one to put a stop to it bro they get on the internet and post that they run the city not the mayor or mayor, can't, mayor can't even deny it 
And you think you gonna be the one to have the pull? Nah. While no, running a restaurant, killers, dude. while running a restaurant and working whole shifts, and everybody knows where you work. Yeah, bro. It's GGs, bro. In Mexico, you can't even make fun of politics without being murdered now. She was really funny. This is horrible. But These that, that... You can't say in Mexico you can't make fun of it. You know what's happening. Bro. You know. Bro. No, bro. That's not a... You think that somebody that got power over, really over politics... Through physical action, it's gonna let you try to expose them. Yeah, nah, bro. Fuck all that. You think they care? It's not. That's not even karma. That's just thinking with your brain, bro. Yeah, you gotta be smart, bro. You think they care? You're beefing with killers. Come on, come on, dude.